Hey you guys, we are in the strongest rapture watch ever this week. So I thought I would bring up the Watchman calendar and show you some of its features. You can see here the names of the Watchmen next to a calendar date. You can click on any of these names which will open the screen that you can access that Watchman's video where they explain why that date is an important connection with the rapture. And if you go up to the hamburger menu at the top and click on that, you'll get a menu where we can click on this timeline tab. And here you'll see this picture at the top here. It is actually the timeline that Mike at Repo Man 64 uses in his videos. If you click on this image, it will allow you to download it and zoom in so that you can see the words and the dates better. And if you scroll down on the same page here, you will see I started a second separate calendar, which will list the significant signs, events, feast days that relate to end times and Bible prophecies relating to the upcoming rapture. So I just started this one. So obviously I don't have everything in here and have different watchmen and different calendars. So if you were to click on one of these items here, it will open up a screen which will allow you to access the video in which that particular day has been addressed. So back on the calendar tab of the website, where we have the watchmen and their high watch dates, you will see why this week is such a big watch week, especially when we're coming up to Thursday. We have four different watchmen. On Friday, there are 12 different watchmen looking at that date. Saturday, we have six so far. Sunday, we have five. So again, you can click on any of these names if you've missed any of their studies for that day, and you can see what studies they have provided to connect that date with a potential rapture. And for those of you who say no man knows the day or hour and that you cannot predict the timing of the rapture, I have pulled up Bible Gateway here, Matthew 24 verses 35 and 36 to show you that that phrase is not talking about the rapture. So you will see down here it says, Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. So you will see here that the no man knows the day or hour is actually talking about heaven and earth passing away, which is a time after the rapture, after the tribulation, after the second coming, and after the millennial reign. So that phrase, no man knows the day or hour, is not talking about the rapture. John says in Revelation 3 verse 3, Therefore, if you will not watch, I will come upon you as a thief, and you will not know what hour I will come upon you. This means that if you will watch, he will not come upon you as a thief, and you will know what hour he will come. Paul says that if we are not in darkness or ignorance, this day will not overtake us as a thief in the night. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 4 but you, brethren, are not in darkness, so that this day should overtake you as a thief. If no man knows the hour, then Jesus would not have said, If you had known, you would have watched. Matthew 24, verse 43 But know this, that if the master of the house had known what hour the thief would come, he would have watched and not allowed his house to be broken into. Therefore, Jesus wants us to know the window of time the tribulation will start because if we had known, we would have watched. The Bible instructs us repeatedly to watch. Scripture also gives us a list of things that we should be watching for that will indicate we are approaching the tribulation. We are seeing all of those signs in the world today 
and they are intensifying in severity and frequency every day. If you'd like to keep updated on world events, I have created a handy playlist of end times updates. Please go to the playlist tab on my channel and find the watching together list. I am constantly adding new videos to the list from a variety of Watchmen channels. We clearly see in the world today, we are living in the end times right now. Watching the signs given to us in scripture tell us that the tribulation is about to begin. This is how we know when the rapture will happen, because it will occur before the tribulation. And if the tribulation is upon us, then the rapture is even closer. Please go to my channel to find a video that describes the rapture and its timing in further detail. Join me on my other media platforms. The links are in the description area below this video. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.